Good evening, friends. Welcome back to my channel, Infinite Trade. My name is Robin, and let's do an FTN Bank Nifty analysis for tomorrow. So it was an amazing expiry day today. Uh, the market behaved volatile. Uh, it went up and then came down. So as we planned, that uh, we could see the market to be sideways and slightly on a bearish side because we saw that both FIs and uh, pros had call sells. So it was clear that the market is definitely not going to go on the upper side. And at the same time. Uh, it did not fall in the way it should uh, you know it was a controlled fall that happened in both nifty and bank nifty so overall a good expiry uh, the algo also made profit and my self trading also turned profitable so what next so uh, like we already discussed that this uptrend is over uh, with this particular candle so 12th uh, july and then the correction mode is still continuing okay so whether it can continue uh, or not we'll look at the data and uh, in the weekly analysis video we'll be discussing more about how we could plan our week going forward so let's see uh, what the participant wise data says uh, so the first thing is like we do not have much to discuss on the participant wise OI data, the only reason being uh, since it was an expiry, we would just see the exiting of their positions except futures. Uh, so what they have done in futures today is basically they have closed some longs, which is 3260 and they have added some shorts, uh, which is around 3908. And so at this point, uh, they are still continuing to add shorts is what is more important. So since we can see that they are short in futures, so we know that uh, this short is definitely going to factor in in the coming days. So we may see in this coming week that this short will be factored in and we may see a continuation of fall. But what is the option saying at the moment? And also pros also have added about 11,800 shorts. So definitely this both the values, which is around 15,000 should factor in in the coming week. And if you look at the options, uh, the overall figure would be like net long in the call and net short on put. Uh, similarly, if you look at pros, it says net long on call and net long on put. So what does this indicate is basically uh, FIs have closed uh, a lot of call shots that they had uh, if we compare it with the call long. That's what it means. And similarly, pros also have closed shorts more than the longs that they had. Okay, so tomorrow we can expect a, a, you know, a sideways market and can be a little volatile also. And why it can be sideways? So sideways market is basically, uh, you know, so there are two understanding to it. One is uh, waiting for a trend okay and the second thing is uh, confusion in the market so these are the two things that can be taken out uh, from a sideways market so why this will happen so if you look at the uh, cash market data today fis are net buyers in cash market so they have bought for about uh, just a second Oh, this is surprising. So I look, yeah. So FIs have bought for 309 crores in the cash market. And at the same time, they have added shorts in the future. Okay. So this itself creates confusion. Like they are bullish in the cash market, however, bearish in the index. So, so this movement itself is a sideways movement. Okay. So let's see how we can plan sideways or a trending how do we understand that uh, for tomorrow i'm just activating my lines uh, my support and resistance levels so nifty is like closer to a trend line and it took support near to that particular trend line and what could be the range for nifty tomorrow so this swing sixteen thousand on the upside and this low, which is, I think, around 15,850, if I'm not wrong. 
uh, yeah, 858. Okay, so Nifty is expected to trade between 16,000 to 15,850. Okay, 16,000 will be a resistance. So, above that, if we see a higher high kind of a formation, we'll definitely go long here. But for that, it has to break this level and form higher high kind of a pattern. Secondly, if you look at uh, SGX Nifty at the moment, it is trading almost uh, nearly 100 points below. Okay, so it is trading around 15,840 at the moment. So if you like, if we see that it is opening below this level, uh, so we have a support at 15,800. So either it should take a dip and immediately halt here and then start forming higher high kind of a pattern. So what I would actually do here is since if it is opening with a gap down and we know that we do not have bearish positions uh, in the index options. So there is always a chance that it can recover and fill this particular gap. Okay. So what we'll do is at 15,800, we'll see how it behaves. So either we need a higher high kind of a pattern or at least if it is, you know, forming a sideways here, we will keep uh, an eye on RSI for any uh, bullish divergence. Okay. So what RSI would do is if market is trading sideways, RSI would trade something like this. So if we find any divergence, you know, we will trade this particular range breakout and our target would be around 15,950. Okay. So I think if it forms a small range initially, uh, we may get a good 100 points move on the upper side and then the market could trade uh, like it may trade here for some time and then you know go here and then it would try and trade like this for some time so i'm not expecting a very big moment on the downside or on the upside tomorrow so we could see nifty uh, trading in a range okay so what are we going to do if it is opening gap down we are definitely not going to buy a put uh, we will only look for an option to go long for the gap filling. So, but uh, you need to wait for the price action. Okay. And our first target would be 15,950 and second is 16,000, but it is better to book at this point. Okay. And if at all market opens gap up, say it is opening around 16,000, Again, we may see a sideways market. So in a gap up opening, uh, you can buy a put, but not at 16,000, but if it opens at 16,060 and after the first candle, if it's breaking the second candle, uh, the low of the first candle, then we can go for a put uh, for the gap filling target, but uh, go with lesser quantities because market is going to be uh, confusing and sideways for at least tomorrow and from monday we could see a proper trend okay so the overall trend still remains uh, bearish uh, but we could see a halt uh, at least for tomorrow and let's discuss flat opening so if we open flat and if you're going up like if you're breaking this swing we're not going to do anything until this place okay if we see that it is reversing let it reverse will not buy any put here only when this particular low is broken so 15850 is when we'll consider entering in the put side and the first target would be 15800 and then we could plan even 15 uh, 730 so this could be the uh, continuation of fall if it breaks this swing and so if it is breaking 16,000, we would want Nifty to form higher high kind of a pattern. And then you know, we'll miss this swing, we'll trade this swing breakout. And we can see that Nifty may slow and steady start moving upwards. And let's discuss Bank Nifty quickly. So Bank Nifty has closed below one of the support which is 34672 if you remember we discussed that we could see a target of 34600 today and it has clearly achieved but if you see the swings were dangerous okay so expiry day it is possible so it is coming down taking a halt here then going up and then again returning back so 
easily you could uh, give a stop loss just look at the wicks of each and every candle on an expiry day when the premiums are already decaying it is easier that the stop loss would be hit very quickly so hence it was a difficult day for buyers but uh, i went for a call shot uh, somewhere at this place and then i booked it here uh, because it was not ready to go down and then it went up uh, it was a good opportunity to short again but uh, by the time i closed my laptop and did not wanted to trade further but then it gave a very good fall uh so what do we do in bank nifty so bank nifty if it opens flat and if it breaks this low the next level is 34400 okay and if it opens gap down at this place uh, we would definitely look for a pullback opportunity until 34650 okay so if it is opening at this place we would prefer going long here and our target would be 34650 to 34700 okay and just in case of a gap up opening then we could see market trading within this range and that can be volatile as well as a proper range so if it is opening at this point somewhere close to 35000 the first thing that we are going to do is buy a put and book it around uh, 34650 okay and then the buyer should not take any trade because it can be uh, sideways the entire day so we discussed gap up uh, we discussed flat opening and we also discussed gap down so overall i am looking at uh, the market to be in a range within this place either tomorrow if it is opening gap down or if it is opening gap up i am looking at this range okay uh, i would suggest you that uh, you know mark these levels on your chart because that becomes easier for trading the support and resistance levels and uh, yeah so this week i'll definitely uh, inform the investment opportunities since it is correcting so based on the data we'll see if it is going to break the low of 15200 in nifty or is it just a pullback which can take support around 15600 to 700 which we discussed earlier and take a u turn is something which we'll discuss based on the data that will come tomorrow Thank you for watching. Let's meet in another video till then. Take care. Bye bye.